are so excited to talk about your brand new movie that's coming mm -hmm. called, I'm going to make sure I get it right, mm -hmm. Legends of the Lost Locket, right? We got that right? Awesome. Yes. Like, I think we should give the two of you an opportunity if there's anything like you want to give, give us a little teaser about the movie or what the movie is kind of give us a quick overview about the movie because I don't think we really talked about that too much. Oh, yeah. I leave that in your capable hands, lady. My capable hands. Give us the movie. Make us want to watch, <laughs> Natasha. Yes. <laughs> I don't well, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it is, it was, it's such a fun movie about an antique stealer from the huh? UK huh? that travels to Massachusetts. Yep. A small town. To, to in search of a locket that her mother had started the quest for. And unfortunately, after her passing, she really wanted to ensure she carried on that journey. And um, she, she was able to trace it to this small town and continue her quest, where of course she meets. She has to deal with the law, the officer. <laughs> I did not break the law, uh, however. Uh -huh. Uh, we'll, we'll revisit that. We'll revisit I was gonna say we'll that sounds like that. the making of a great meat cute right there. That little thing. <laughs> yes, yes, very nice meat cute. Uh, but yeah. You know what's great about it? It's a lovely combination of mystery, romance, comedy, uh -huh. and just uh, a woman that is on the trail of something very important to her yes. personally. And do you know, Michelle, the writer, she balanced it so beautifully throughout the movie that there's a little bit of everything and not too much of anything. Mm. And it, I just feel like it's a really nicely balanced movie yeah. with so many elements. Yeah, we're we're proud to, to, so, you know, you hear the, you hear like romantic comedy a lot and, um, you know, we we really wanted to to the comedy element in this. I think is I think is really strong. And uh, yes. comedy is my first love, so so I, that was that was important to me that 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 it's funny as well, and uh, it's really it's really funny as well. It's also very good. It's got very good banter. Good good gags. Good banter. Yeah, good <laughs> and uh, and 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 also there was something that there was something that was really. I think vital to the chemistry that Marcus and Amelia have. And it's, yes. it's, it's that, that they beyond anything that's happening in this, in the story for both of them, that they meet and, and are very cool with each other. Like there's, there's a, there's a, there's an attraction, but it's, it's not anything that anybody is, uh, is going to like pursue uh, but then fate brings them together, and and I I really like that element of it that it would it feels a lot it feels um a lot more like how things would unfold in real life yeah um in this movie yeah more you can follow Amelia's journey I like that you can follow her journey and her journey isn't all centered around Marcus no. which is what's actually really nice about it yeah because that feels real it feels natural. Yeah. And so the development of the banter between Marcus and Amelia then falls naturally as well. Yes, yes. because she's not, there's some, some, you know, we watch other, other movies where it's like the, the main, the, it's almost like the main problem of the, of the lead character is the fact that she's not with anybody. But that is not her, it's not her issue at all. It's not, it's not something that she's. And it's never mentioned. Nope. Actually, that was something we did speak about, wasn't it, in the beginning, as to whether that element should be in there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we we ended up wanting to take it out so yeah. it didn't become a focal point. Yeah. And the locket became the focal point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's, it's, it's yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, and everything you see is, is, is the, we, we put a lot of thought into to, to all of this. It's, uh, and I, we, you know, we think the script is very tight uh it, it cuts together really well there's we, we kind of cut the fat out in in okay. this in this film so uh it, it I, I, yeah we're just we, 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 we were just 
so excited. So proud We're of so it. excited. We just want to hear what everyone thinks yeah. now. We just want it to be April 13th, quite yeah. frankly. Right, well, just send it to everybody right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's great. It's, it's, uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, we have a great director, uh, Kevin Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was great. And and the thing that's so cool is our, our director came on and he he was so hyped. <laughs> he like read the script and he was like, oh my God, like I he was yeah. so excited. Mm-hmm. And he had ideas and he was just, you know, it was so And we had the same, the most importantly, when we first spoke to him, we had the same vision. It yeah. was it was Perfect. uncanny. Yeah. It was actually kind of uncanny. Yeah. We were like, yeah, that is exactly yeah. where we wanted to go with yeah. this. We lined up on 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 everything, and and you know there were some changes that were made like on the fly, uh, in the moment sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it, it it all was it's all very well thought out. That's what I love about it so much. So it looks like a lot of fun, and we noticed that you guys also served as producers on the film. Um, so we have a hearty Caroline Richardson from South Carolina asks, what was it like to produce as opposed to not just act to kind of do both there? Very tiring. Very yeah. tiring. <laughs> That's your first That's response. Right. <laughs> uh, What's the difference as far as um, additional kind of um, involvement you have as a producer? Uh, well, you know, we were part of the pre-production process. Um and just, just really, you sort of are engaged in every element, you know, props, costumes, mm-hmm. other characters, dialogue, storyline, casting, casting. Mm-hmm. And I think it's in, in, in a lot of ways, I actually really enjoyed it because yeah. you get to have the opportunity. It really becomes your baby. Yes. The project becomes your baby yes. because, you know, you've been involved in every, element before it even goes to camera and yes. your opinions you can you know you can share your opinions and what you don't like and what you do like and I don't really want to say that I don't think that really works and then everything becomes a discussion and it's all a collaboration so by the time you get to camera yeah it definitely feel you feel really set in what you're about to do you're comfortable you're confident and everyone around you is aware of you know where the you everyone wants the project to go so yeah. we're happy with where the project wants to yeah. go and then the director knows the other producers and everybody we're all on the same page and that's yeah. a really nice feel yeah as, a, as an actor you you show up and a lot of that process is done yeah you, you, you're not involved in that you just show up hey, where's my trailer can i get some snacks <laughs> yeah. it's, it's very different when you when you when you are like we we had lived with this for a year and a half before before we started shooting yeah yeah so okay. yeah so it was it was yeah. it was coming together yeah like the revisions of the the script and, yeah. and the story and where we wanted it to go and just thinking you know there are certain things that you don't think about things that need to make sense in the script and things like that that maybe if you were just acting on it you'd read it and go well that doesn't quite make sense but okay oh, well. i'll say it i'll fix you it know? In, yeah. i'll fix it in post oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a year and a half prior yeah. you know you realize that there are so many things and because you get so invested in it you start going i want it to make sense yes i want to yeah. find a way to fix this yes. i don't want to just do it anyway you know and so that's where you, you can get really engrossed in in the pre-production of it yeah it made me a she might disagree but it made me a <laughs> made me a, a a better actor to act with i'm so sorry uh, because um <laughs> i you really realize through the prep of a mm. of a production that time is not on your side no. at all no and so as an actor like i said as an actor you show up and you may not be aware of, you're not aware of all the goings on, all the behind the scenes. And so as a, as producers on it, you know, all of a sudden scheduling and money and all that stuff, that's going through your head as well. So, yeah. so not, it didn't change my approach to doing what I do as far as like, you know, coming in and knowing what's going on. But I was very aware that I had like less time to, like don't fumble, don't fumble the ball, don't don't screw up. And your next this one, who doesn't screw up a line? I mean, 
she had 17,000 words to say and she missed like three of them. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't look that way. I miss, I miss 15,000 or 17,000. It's fine. <laughs> we fix it later. But, <laughs> but, but it was a very different sense of, of like, oh, the sun is coming out. It was a very, very different sense of, of, uh, of time. Like I said, yeah. time is not on your, wow, it's getting really sunny. Time is not on your side. <laughs> And it was, it was really cool. It was really cool putting it together. Like, mm. you, again, as an actor, you you show up to something that's been put together. But mm. but when you you know produce and you know came up, we came up with the storyline and and a lot of stuff that we we had input into, and then the music they're coming to us going you know oh, what do you think of this music cue here. Uh, we learned so much, <laughs> so much in the post-production as well yeah. that you learn. Yeah. And not even realizing because it almost is subconscious when you're listening to a score, if it's done well, it lays perfectly underneath the scene it and it the enhances scene. the scene. Yes. And then it's just so interesting to then actually go, oh, that that actually doesn't work. Or, oh, that really does work. I almost didn't notice it was there. Yeah. But it did still enhance the scene, right? Yeah. And and all these things that you don't really spend don't that much about. time thinking about yeah. that actually, and, and it's really tiny things, you know, well, that needs to be brought down just a little bit or that needs to go up just a little yeah. bit. Nothing yeah. is ever any big adjustment usually it's yeah. not a big adjustment but it is a very important adjustment to make to make it to, and you do notice the difference it's, you do it's actually yeah. kind of interesting just to learn that it's, just to see it it's made us come away from from this experience going like how do bad films make it <laughs> make, like make it out <laughs> so right. many so <laughs> many people have so many eyes on this thing before it it gets yeah. released, you're like, what? How does that even happen? Like, if they're checking in with us, with our little movie, <laughs> you yeah. know, I'm like, how are these major studios putting out movies that just aren't performing? It's like, somebody doesn't care somewhere, but mm. you, you have to go over every aspect of everything. Honestly, I, 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 have, uh, I have a newfound respect for producers. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, and you do look at your own work differently as well. Yes. You know, because I mean, let's be real, we're actors, we're narcissists. Totally so thinking about ourselves. Right. You know, you're looking yeah. at, oh, I just like angle, exactly. my face exactly. didn't look right. Exactly. My body Hang was, on. you know, on, right? just... <laughs> all the time. You know, and, and, and it's like, you know, it's for once. <laughs> Yep. You watch it so many times that you actually start seeing it as a bigger picture. Yes. Mm. And you're like, this yeah. scene works. It doesn't matter what my face was doing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> scene works. Scene works. <laughs> and and uh, again, fortunately, we work well together because, you know, again, the, the, the demands of, of, of I, I mean, like I said, she had so much to say. <laughs> it was it was incredible. Like, I, I uh, just reams of paper Natasha yeah. had to memorize. Uh, uh, not that I didn't have to memorize, but yeah, I, don't, yeah, uh, I don't typically <laughs> memorize stuff like that much. <laughs> I'm like, in the moment. <laughs> really? I never noticed. No, no one notices that. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Uh, <laughs> we'll fix this in post, too. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, it's just, uh, you know, another, another, another example for me of, like, this one right here. I am, I'm pumped for this movie because you are going to see my friend here shine, like, just, he keeps saying the truth. I feel like <laughs> we're no. setting our files up for a fall. No, here. we're not. No, We've we're seen not. the previews. You're already shining in the previews. <laughs> no, uh, uh, honestly, honestly, uh, since we met and we started talking about doing, uh, you know, a movie together, what have I been saying about what I wanted people to see? Us be just great together. And... <laughs> She's being, she's being modest. I have been like, I can't wait for people to see what you get to do when you are bringing yourself into the equation a little bit more. Because Minnie, Minnie is, a, is a departure from Natasha. And, and, and people haven't gotten to see what this one can do. And I'm, I'm like, I am pumped.